Right. Hello everyone. Biff Loadsworth here and welcome to Ask the Apologist. <laughs> right. The show where we ask one enterprising apologist some very tough questions and he or she gets a chance to walk away with one million dollars. <laughs> But don't forget to pay those taxes. <laughs> right. Now let's meet today's contestant. He's an ex-prison librarian turned professional apologist. He hails from Butt Reeks, Florida. Meet Robert Turkle. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Robert. Missed breakfast, did we? <laughs> Are you ready to have a crack? At one million well, dollars? <laughs> it really depends on how you define crack. Well, why don't you get your fat crack over to the contestants area and let's get started. <laughs> As always, the rules are quite simple. Answer just one question correctly and walk away with the current jackpot, which is sitting at one million dollars. <laughs> right. But should you answer incorrectly, the jackpot plummets drastically. Well, you'll have 15 seconds to give us your answer. Are you ready, Robert? Well, that depends on how you define ready. Here is your first question, and it's a hard one. I like hard ones. I bet you do, Robert. <laughs> right. For one million dollars, what causes the seasons? Well, by seasons, do you mean spices? I could use a little more hot sauce on this. You know, summer, fall, winter, spring. Well, that really depends. I know this is a tough one, Robert, but we need an answer quickly. Time is running out. Oh, could you repeat the question again? Oh, I'm sorry, Robert, but the answer is the tilt of the Earth's rotational axis. <laughs> You're misinterpreting it. <coughs> you can't possibly interpret it correctly without a strong indwelling of the Holy Spirit and a strong grounding in hermeneutics. All right, Robert, your possible winnings have become drastically reduced from one million dollars to... ten thousand dollars! <laughs> right! So, the questions become a bit easier now. Robert, here's your next question for ten thousand dollars. Be sure to keep an eye on the clock. Need a napkin? No, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. How many months are there in a year? Well, that really depends on what you mean by year. The same thing everyone means by year, Robert. <laughs> right. Do you mean pre-trib or post-trib? Oh, I'm sorry, Robert, but the number of months in a year is 12. You're taking that out of context. He's taking that out of context. Well, Mr. Turkle, your possible winnings just shriveled from $10,000 to $100! <laughs> right! Now, here's your next question for... Oh, hey, Ken. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the show right now. I'm trying to win some money to get that art project of yours off the ground. How much? Um, let me call you back. Can we continue with the show now, Mr. Turkle? <laughs> no, I had to take that. For one hundred dollars in basketball, how many points are earned when a three-point shot is made? Is this a trick question? Let me repeat the question. How many points are earned when making a three-point shot? Can I, can I phone a friend? <coughs> Robert, just give us your answer. Well, I would love to, but uh, 
Well, there's no way I can do that without first accurately defining. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Robert. Time's up. The answer we were looking for is three. That was a mistranslation from the original Arabic. You don't even understand. If you had any idea of Arabic, you'd have known that. Well, I hate to inform you, Robert, but your possible winnings just withered from $100 to $10. Now here's one you should have no trouble with. For $10, what day comes after Tuesday? Old Testament or New Testament? I have no idea what you mean, Robert. Time is running out. Give us your answer. Well, that really depends on if we use the Jewish system of time or the Roman. You see, when we go back and look... Oh, too bad, Robert. We were looking for Wednesday. That was Old Testament. That was Old Testament, you moron. Je Jesus did away with all that on the cross. Well, Robert, the jackpot is now on life support. And if by some miracle of God you should answer the next question correctly, you will walk away with... A buck forty-five! <laughs> right! So here's your chance to walk away a winner instead of a whiner. <laughs> right! Are you ready, Robert? That depends on... What? Is your real name? Oh, that one's easy. I know that one. J.P. Holding. Oh, I'm sorry, Robert. But the answer we were looking for is... Robert Turkle. You weren't there. How do you know? You just all want to keep sinning. Evolution is a lie. There's a big difference between historical science and... scientific science. You all hate God, you just want to sin and keep sinning. You're all going to hell. You're all going to hell. But Jesus loves you more than you'll ever know. Well, you don't even win a buck forty-five, Robert. But you do receive some nice parting shots. Uh, I mean, gifts. Tell him what he's won, Bob. Johnny? That's right, Robert. You'll enjoy reading for the first time this handsome leather-bound book. The Bible! KJV, of course. And for those times when you're not stuffing your fat, greasy pie hole with artery-hardening fast food, you'll enjoy stuffing it with this filthy jizz-encrusted sock we found in a dumpster out back. This 50% polyester sock should be more than sufficient to clog up even a cavernous grotto of a mouth such as yours, Robert. Well, Robert Turkle gave it his best shot. <laughs> right, but he goes home a loser, if not completely empty-handed. Thanks for playing, Robert. I'm J.P. Holding, bitch. You have no idea what a suzerain vassal treaty is, do you? Huh? Do you? <laughs> right. You can't even spell hermeneutics. You couldn't even hold Well, your tune in next down. time when we Who ask the, the apologist. <laughs> right. Yeah,